Item number SCP-4190 Containment Class Safe Security Level 2 Disruption Class Dark Special Containment Procedures SCP-4190 is kept in a standard safe class containment locker in the anomalous object wing of Site-82. Personnel experiencing recurring nightmares involving being watched or pursued by shadowy figures are advised to record their experiences and the standard dream report and relay these experiences to Site-82's psychiatry office. Description SCP-4190 is a 48 page magazine measuring 18 centimeters by 26 centimeters, printed on lightweight coated paper. The magazine's contents feature detailed descriptions of peculiar deep sea phenomena as observed by divers, submersibles, submarines, autonomous surveillance drones, and fish based optics. Persons that read SCP 4190's cover or contents report experiencing vivid Hypnagogic hallucinations. Note: Hypnagogic hallucinations, dreamlike sensations occurring before falling asleep, followed by nightmares within three to seven days. Reported events vary between persons. Most report the occurring sensation of not being alone in the dream. Notable tests with SCP-4190 are as follows: Standard dream log. Note. Each participant was requested to read SCP-4190 for approximately 30 minutes in a controlled setting. Any nightmares experienced within a week of reading were to be relayed to an on-site psychiatric specialist and recorded via audio device. Only willing participants were selected for this test. Participant D-3467 Estimated degree of recall Low. Nightmare Summary Participant reported walking through a damp, dark, narrow hallway. Both the ceiling and the end of the hall could not be seen at any point during the dream. About halfway through the walk, they reported seeing a black figure in their periphery. Turning around failed to reveal its location. Participant D-3852 Estimated degree of recall. Medium. Nightmare summary. Participant reported arriving at the base of a tall hill at the edge of a dense forest. No illumination, natural or man-made, was reported, although they claimed it was twilight. They climbed the hill. At one point, they stumbled, losing a third of their progress after which they reported the sensation of being watched. They spent the rest of their dreams searching for the potential predators, but could not locate any. Participant, Psionic Specialist Samara McClear Estimated degree of recall, high. Nightmare summary, participant reported finding themselves out of breath in front of a large black gate surrounded by dead trees and heavy mist. No fences or connective material could be located. After failing to open the gate, they turned around 180 degrees and walked away from the barrier. The gate appeared in front of them, stopping them. They attempted this action approximately 49 times to no avail. Near the end of the dream, they sighted an indeterminate figure on the other side of the gate ambling toward them. Direct visual contact with the entity was maintained until the mist became too dense to see. Participant, on-site researcher, Jesse Kotoshiyoshi. Estimated degree of recall, medium. Nightmare summary. Participant experienced a false awakening, believing they were traversing the site. They attempted to travel to their designated Paris Science Research Station, noting that the halls had become circuitous. Wrapping back into themselves, they were lost for most of the dream before they traveled backwards, returning at their quarters. A torn scrap of paper with their handwriting was found on their pillow. Note reads as follows. 
You are doing excellent work. Please keep it up. We are having so much fun. We harbor no grudge. Let us not care either way. The joke cannot die for our sake. Testing of SCP-4190 has been halted. Personnel are informed to continue dreaming.